Washington is a state of jeweled, dramatic beauty, from its chilly clouded coasts to the dramatic peaks of the North Cascades to shaggy rainforests to glacier-carved valleys studded with the occasional stratovolcano. One of the best ways to see Washington's emerald beauty is to get out there on foot and hike its national and state parks, municipal trails, and towering mountains. If you're wondering where to begin, however, don't worry, these are Washington's bucket list hikes. 1. The enchantments The enchantments encompass the best of the Alpine Lakes wilderness, full of eye-popping teal lakes, jagged peaks and rock formations out of Norse myths or high fantasy, and glacier-carved meadows. It's no wonder this pocket has become one of the most coveted hikes in Washington, accessible only if you're up for a seriously long, intense day hike, or if you're lucky enough to win the lottery that dispenses a limited number of backcountry permits. All visitors to the enchantments must obtain a permit during the peak season from May 15 through October 31, whether you're undertaking a day hike or a backpacking trip. The rare hiker who can manage 18 miles with almost 5,000 feet of elevation gain in a single day can traverse the whole enchantments. That said, you might find it more reasonable to break up portions of the enchantments into more manageable day hikes, like the 9-mile stretch to Kolchuk Lake on the Stewart Lake Trail, which clocks just 2,283 feet of elevation gain. Backpackers can take their time wandering from Cirque to Cirque, puffing up the aptly named Asgard Pass a reference to the works of J.R.R. Tolkien, and adding in additional day hikes like the trail up Dragontail Peak. 2. The Ho River Trail A well-used route into the wide, glacier-carved Ho River Valley, this path is also the principal means of access to Mount Olympus. Beginning at the visitor center, at the end of the upper Ho Road, the trail follows an easy grade for 12 miles through moss-drenched temperate rainforest, and day hikers can use it as a pleasant out-and-back excursion. Beyond this the path climbs to the flower-scattered paradise of glacier meadows, perched at 4,300 feet. 3. Mount Rainier Rainier's textbook Long Distance Hike is the 93-mile Wonderland Trail, which completely circumnavigates the mountain with a cumulative elevation gain of 21,400 feet. Longmire is its most popular starting point, with the majority of hikers tackling the route over 10 to 12 days in a clockwise direction in July or August. There are 18 backcountry campsites en route. For a shorter hike from Longmire you can test your mettle on the precipitous Eagle Peak Trail, a steep 7.2 mile out and back hike. A more laid back look at some old growth forest and pastoral meadows is available on the signposted Trail of the Shadows Loop, a 0.8 mile trail that begins across the road from the museum and is wheelchair accessible for the first 0.4 miles. Starting off Highway 123 just north of the Ohanapakash Visitor Center, the Grove of the Patriarchs as 1.5-mile trail is one of Mount Rainier National Park's most popular short hikes and explores a small island, the Grove, in the middle of the Ohanapakash River replete with soaring Douglas fir, cedar and hemlock trees, some of which are over 1,000 years old. 4. Paradise Paradise, situated at 5,400 feet, has a much shorter hiking season than Longmire, Snow can persist into late June, but its wildflower pastiche, which includes avalanche lilies, western anemones, lupins, mountain bog gentians and paintbrushes, makes the experience spectacular. The paradise area is crisscrossed with trails of all types and standards, some good for a short stroll, with the kids, others the realm of more strenuous hikers. To get a close-up of the Nisqually Glacier, follow the 1.2-mile Nisqually Vista Trail. For something more substantial hike the 5-mile Skyline Trail. Intrepid day hikers can continue up the mountain from Panorama Point via the Pebble Creek Trail to the permanent snowfield track that leads to Camp Muir, the main overnight bivouac spot for climbing parties. At 10,000 feet, this hike is not to be undertaken lightly. Take sufficient clothing, and load up with a good supply of food and water. 5. Soul Duck River The 14-mile road that leads off US 101 into the heart of Olympic National Park along the headwaters of the Soul Duck River is worth a spin for great day hikes, a dip in a natural spa and a glimpse of the Olympic rainforest. The trees along the roadside become taller and more majestic the moment you enter the park. The road ends 1.5 miles past Soul Duck Hot Springs Resort, and this is where most of the trails start. The most popular hike is the 0.75-mile Soul Duck Falls Trail, where the river plummets 40 feet into a narrow gorge. 
However, you can lengthen this hike by setting out from the Soul Duck Hot Springs Resort along the Lover's Lane Trail and using the Campground Trail on the return to make a loop. Other more strenuous hikes cross the bridge at the falls and climb the Deer Lake Trail along Canyon Creek. This sometimes steep, 8-mile round trip trail reaches the tree-rimmed lake then joins the High Divide Trail before tracking back via the Seven Lakes Basin, a popular overnight destination. Another good leg stretcher is the 2.5-mile Mink Lake Trail, departing from the resort. The marshy lake is noted for its bird-watching and wildlife viewing. 6. Mount St. Helens In addition to climbing to the summit, there are plenty of other hikes on and around Mount St. Helens. Ask a ranger at Silver Lake Visitor Center to direct you to the best trail for the weather and the distance you want to tackle. They'll also provide basic trail maps, but you should always carry a detailed topo map as well. Suggested hikes include a circumnavigation of Coldwater Lake on the Nine Mile Lakes Trail, Coldwater Trail, hikes 211 and 230, through an area of forest blowdown and developing shrubs, with 2,500 feet of ascent, the trail is graded, difficult, and the Truman Trail, hike 207, named after Harry Truman, not the president, who perished in the eruption, leading from the Windy Ridge viewpoint through pumice fields and wildflower fields for 5.7 miles. The 2.5-mile Hummocks Trail, hike 229, is a good choice when the upper areas haven't yet opened for summer. It loops around mounds of volcanic debris, called hummocks, as well as along the Tootle River for spectacular views of the mountain. Mount Street Helen's version of Mount Rainier's Wonderland Trail is the rugged 30-mile Lewitt Trail, hike 216, which circumnavigates the volcano, crossing numerous ecosystems. Winter storms can affect trail quality here, so inquire at Silver Lake Visitor Center before setting out. 7. The Enchanted Valley Trail The Lake Quinault area's hiking highlight is this photogenic trail, which climbs for 13 miles beyond the Graves Creek Ranger Station, at the end of South Shore Road, up to a large meadow, a former glacial lake bed, crisscrossed by streams and springs, and resplendent with wildflowers and thickets of alders. To the north rise sheer cliff faces and peaks craning 2,000 feet from the valley floor, during spring snowmelt, the three-mile precipice is drizzled by thousands of small waterfalls. After the late June snowmelt it is possible to lengthen this hike by continuing over 4,464 feet Anderson Pass, 19 miles from Graves Creek, and descending to the Dozewillips Trailhead on the park's eastern side. 8. Wenatchee and Kashmir Best known for mountain biking, Wenatchee and neighboring Kashmir have a lot to offer hikers, too. In Wenatchee, the go-to trail is Saddle Rock, a 2.5-mile trail with 900 feet of elevation gain that offers fantastic views of the surrounding town, not to mention the dramatic rock formation for which the park and trail are named. Just a short drive away, Nahaham Canyon is carpeted with bright yellow balsam root in the spring, and the trail that winds up to a radio tower atop of the hills overlooking Kashmir and, further southeast, West Wenatchee, is easy enough for moderate hikers to take in the panoramic views. In April, the valleys you see from above are painted in sharp contrasts of blue shadow, green leaves, and the white blossoms of central Washington's apple orchards. On a clear day, you can even see the jagged points of the enchantments to the west. 9. Staircase The trail system in the staircase part of Olympic National Park follows the drainage of the North Fork Skokomish River, which is flanked by some of the most rugged peaks in the Olympics. The principal long-distance path is the North Fork Skokomish Trail, which leads up this heavily forested valley, eventually crossing into the Duckabush River Valley to intercept other Trans Park trail systems. Ambitious day hikers might consider following this trail 3.7 miles to the Flapjack Lakes Trail, an easy four-mile climb up to several small lakes that shimmer beneath the crags of the Sawtooth Peaks. A popular short hike follows the south bank of the North Fork Skokomish River through lush old-growth forest along the Staircase Rapids Loop Trail. Continue up the trail a short distance to the Rapids Bridge, which crosses over to the North Fork Skokomish Trail and makes for a nice two-mile loop. 10. Mount Baker The Interpretive Artist Ridge Trail is an easy one-mile loop through heather and berry fields with the craggy peaks of Mount Baker and Mount Shuxant scowling in the background. Another option is the 0.5-mile Fire and Ice Trail, adjacent to the Heather Meadows Visitor Center, which explores a valley punctuated by undersized mountain hemlock. 
The 7.5-mile Chain Lakes Loop starts at the Artist Point parking lot before dropping down to pass a half-dozen icy lakes surrounded by Huckleberry Meadows. Many of Mount Baker's best trails start lower down on Highway 542 from a series of unpaved forest roads. The 7.4-mile out and back Heliotrope Ridge Trail begins 8 miles south on unpaved USFS Road 39, 1 mile east of Glacier, and takes hikers from thick old-growth forest to flower-filled meadows and, ultimately, a breathtaking Coleman Glacier overlook. At the two-mile point the path for the Coleman Glacier ascent of Mount Baker branches to the left. The 11-mile out and back Skyline Divide Trail is another spellbinding stroll through forests and meadows on the edge of the Mount Baker Wilderness, with eye-to-eye -eye views of the main mountain and countless other more distant peaks. Access is via USFS Road 37, which branches southeast off USFS Road 39 immediately after Highway 542 and runs for 12 miles to the trailhead. Access to North Cascades National Park and an abundance of multi-day backcountry hikes is via Hannigan Pass, a five-mile hike from the Hannigan Campground and Trailhead at the end of USFS Road 32, which branches east at a sharp bend in Highway 542. Walk in through a beautiful roadless valley. The American Alpine Institute offers a huge range of private tours, skills courses and expeditions, including guided three-day novice climbs up Mount Baker from $795, May to September, they fill up fast, so reserve well in advance. Its next-door gear shop sells and rents outdoor equipment, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. 11. The Sourdough Ridge Trail This one-mile ridge climb heads from the north side of the Sunrise Parking Area on the park's eastern side and takes you out into pristine subalpine meadows for stunning views over Washington's volcanic giants, namely, Mount Rainier, Mount Baker, Glacier Peak and Mount Adams. 12. Ozette The Hoko Ozette Road leaves Highway 112 about 3 miles west of CQ and proceeds 21 miles to Lake Ozette Ranger Station, on Lake Ozette. There is no village here but, from the ranger station, two boardwalk trails lead out to beaches at Cape Oliva and Sandpoint. The 3.3-mile Cape Oliva Trail leads north to the westernmost point of land in the continental U.S. and is the site of the ancient Macaw village, where archaeologists unearthed 55,000 artifacts, many of which are on display at the Macaw Museum in Nia Bay. The Southern Sandpoint Trail from Lake Ozette Ranger Station leads three miles to beaches below a low bluff. Whale watchers often come here in the migration season. The two shorter Ozette trails can easily be linked as a long day hike by walking the three miles between Cape Oliva and Sandpoint along the beach, beware of the tides, or overland, but note that the trail is brushy and primitive. The high point of this hike is Wedding Rocks, the most significant group of petroglyphs on the Olympic Peninsula. Approximately a mile south of Cape Oliva, the small outcropping contains carvings of whales, a European square rigger and fertility figures. The site was traditionally used for macaw weddings and is still considered sacred. The really hard core can hike the 20 miles from Ozette to Rialto Beach near La Push. Note that this last hike is dependent on the tides and hikers often have to retreat into the wilderness, where there's no trail. All hikes require paying the Olympic National Park entry fee.